Hello everyone, I am Erica and welcome to the Nerd Journals, where I create evidence of my meager existence. This is the journal that my patrons wanted to see a full flip through of next. I wrote in it in 2019. It's from a brand named Soothie. It's kind of an interesting story how I wound up with this journal actually. The company reached out to me and they wanted to give me a journal and they wanted to give me a journal to give away as well, which was really cool. I was really excited. Hell yeah, I want to try that out. So this is my journal that they gave me and they literally never got back to me about having a giveaway. So I'm glad I didn't announce it on my um, channel in anticipation because they never got back to me, but they did give me this one journal and it's lovely. I love it so much. I got to pick a journal. I had such trouble picking a journal cover from this company that I actually told them, here are my favorites. You guys pick one. I can't decide. So I ended up with uh, this yin yang journal cover. It's kind of like a yin yang, but it's got like a mandala here on the dark side. I just realized that it doesn't have an opening for the dot on the other side. Wow. How have I never noticed that before? But I do love this cover. Even the back is beautiful. Look at that. So this is actually just a journal cover and they sent me the journal that's on the inside as well. Someday I would like to replace the journal on the inside and use this again. But um, yeah, I don't have the money for buying a specific size journal right now. I just have to use what I have from my shelf. So thank you so much to those of you who voted to see this journal. And thanks to you guys who voted for other journals as well. I do appreciate it. If you would like to vote for my next journal flip through, you'll have to be a member on my Patreon account whenever I put up that poll. It's not up yet though, so don't run and join for that. So on with the chlorophyll. I named this journal Gravity and that's just the name of the journal and not the, the cover itself. Isaac Newton image here with how does gravity work and I wrote gravity as pretty as, I, pretty as I could there on the cover. This actually tucks inside but I untucked it before recording because I really wanted you guys to be able to see the little collage here I've made on the inside. Looks like some random stickers in washi here on the left hand page along with a picture of myself. You know, I kind of fell out of the habit of putting pictures of myself in my journal, but there's a good reason why. And that is because I used to work at a drugstore with a photo lab in it, so it was so easy to print out pictures uh, while on my break or whatever. But now I have to make a special trip to print out pictures and I don't like going places, so I don't do that very often. I forgot until I went to flip the page, but these are really heavy handmade paper pages in the journal they sent me. Really high quality. Now if I buy a notebook to put in here, I'm um, probably not going to buy anything this nice. It'll be something cheap that just fits inside the cover. There's the books I read during the writing of this journal. Yeah, I actually remember starting to read Girl, Wash Your Face, and I hated it so much. Uh, I crossed it off and did not finish reading it. Uh, looks like in this journal I made an index that I never filled out. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did that a few times. <laughs> Just got a random little bits and pieces going on here. I wrote about something political, hence the little American flag. Uh, I don't know why I stuck Kramer up there in the corner and a little circle doodle. That's kind of fun. I like the um, ink color. I wonder what pen I used there. It's kind of funny because this is one of my oldest scrapbook papers I own and I'm pretty sure I still own some. Uh, I just finished using up these stickers recently and I started them five years ago. <laughs> Um, that's kind of funny. Like I said, I'm not a hoarder. I just tend to use my things slowly. They do get used up. There's nothing I'm afraid to use in my journal. Ooh, I love this. I love this. Oh, I'm going to probably take a picture of this and show it on my Instagram. <laughs> what a cute page. I made the, the spaceship and like the rainbow light coming out of it. Looks like I did a lot of writing in here and not so much decorating, but we'll see if that trend keeps up. This is a 
probably one of the oldest stickers I have as well. I remember it was given to me by a woman that sold creative memories. Is, is that a thing that was a thing in the early aughts? Creative memories? If so, that's the brand name of this sticker. And she gave me a bunch when I first moved to the United States. And uh, they're finally gone now, but it's still funny that I was still using them here in 2019. This page just has some watercolors and this wine doodle on the right. I think that's a sticker of Ganesh. I'm not quite sure. And then the purple watercolors. The quote in the bottom left hand corner says, just because things could have been different doesn't mean they'd be better. I really like that quote. Sometimes we all find ourselves wishing for something different and that doesn't mean it's gonna be better. Your future self is watching you right now through your memories. I like that quote too. Um, and this is, like I said, when I worked at uh, the drugstore with the photo section and this is printed out on photo paper. Hmm, what kind of paint is this? I think this is painted with an acrylic wash that I made myself, but I'm not certain. Okay, so I made that little doodle myself. That was my little doodle and look how cute that is. I'm kind of impressed with myself. I believe this is also an acrylic wash that I made with just some water and acrylic paint. Right here in the top right hand corner, I'd like to point this out if it's not covered with blur when I edit it. It says Rachel Maddow just said nut it up. <laughs> that's so funny. I'm going to have to look for a clip of Rachel Maddow saying nut it up and see if that's online now. Back in 2019, even though I wasn't a member of the League of Extraordinary Pen Pals, I still sometimes did their prompt list because my friend Whitney would send them to me. <laughs> um, funny thing is, is I rarely, rarely ever use prompts, but I love collecting prompts. I love collecting prompts. I have so many saved. These little owl stickers are so cute. I'm gonna have to let you guys see that better somehow. Um, I may add a clip over this to show you the owls are adorable. <laughs> Ooh, what a pretty ink I was using on March 10th. I love that green. I don't think I have that pen anymore, whatever it was. Mark and I were playing a game named Sequence. You didn't need to play with the jokers, so I kept one of the jokers and put in here. I did some more journal prompts right here. This is probably the most journal prompts I've done in a journal. I'm only at the beginning. I wonder how many prompts I've actually done at this time. This is a picture of Stonehenge I apparently found in a magazine somewhere. And on the right are a bunch of journal video ideas that mostly I've never kept up with, never did. But um, that's a nice idea, I guess. I love this teddy bear that I cut out of a children's book that I had for a long time. Ooh, I love this over here. The butterfly and the like doily sticker, I want to say. Is it a sticker? Or is it something I cut out of a... I don't know what that is exactly back there. I don't know if it's a sticker or something I cut out of a magazine or what that is. And I love the butterfly over it. It really reminds me of um, Megan's Diary. <laughs> That's totally her style right there. Um, here I am looking forward to spring, like right now in real life. It is uh, February 22nd, I believe, as I'm recording this. Really looking forward to spring, though I can't complain about our winter. It's been very mild, and yesterday it actually got up to like almost 70 degrees, so like no complaints. But I would still like more daylight each day. Um, you can't see because of the blur or maybe it's so bad that you can still see but right here and right here are like rips on the pages because once upon a time I did a video of this journal and I covered it up with um, like really cheap generic post-it notes and we all know cheap generic post-it notes do not stick so I used a little bit of washi tape to hold it on and as I'm recording this video, I'm going through and pulling off the washi tape and the, the generic post-its and it's ripping my pages everywhere. So that, that kind of sucks, but I also don't want to keep the post-its over the words forever. I love this kind of um, jar of a healthy living right here on the right. That's a cute little cutout I found. Oh, and this is a clear tip-in. How cute. Can you see that opening there on the side? Hopefully. I had a whole bunch of like nebula themed 
skateboard stickers, which is where this yin yang came from and like the Ganesh I showed you earlier. The pages are so hard to turn because they're so thick and my hands are also so dry, it's ridiculous. I love just the random watercolor backgrounds in this journal and it really makes me want to whip out my watercolor and just paint a few backgrounds in my current journal. I love this cat and dog sticker book I got from Hobby Lobby a hundred years ago. I think I either just recently finished it up or I only have a few stickers left, one or the other. Also, I really like this simple border that's just done with a gel pen and it's just a dash line all around. Super cute, easy to do. Watercolor background, egg stickers, and a little stamp. Um, it's got an outline and lines to write on and I used it to write some things I was grateful for that day. I need to dig out that stamp and start using it again for the same thing. I love that idea. Oh, I can't dig it out for the same thing. I don't have a stamp pad right now. Oh, I forgot my guy is all dried up. Never mind, forget that. Oh, I love the colors I used on this page. On this journal page, I also did some prompts. My goodness, I was busy doing prompts at this point in my life. It's probably because Whitney was sending me so many. <laughs> this page is simple and springy. It makes me so happy. Look at that page. My goodness, I'm just sitting here waiting for spring. This is when I got my first set of nice watercolors. It is Prima brand, which I think is okay. I mean, they're better than what I had before, which was like dollar store, dollar store watercolors. So it's, it's nice to have something a little nicer. I got another pack sometime after these as well, so now I have two packs of watercolors by Prima that I like. I love this teeny tiny dinosaur down here, he's so cute. This is so funny, I cut out this koala bear right here, um, and I wrote down that he was the world's sexiest koala bear, but just look at him. Look at him. He, he looks like he's asking if you come here often. This is a little St. Patrick's Day decorations. Ooh, I remember I had lost my um, alpha stencil for a long time and it turns out I left it in another journal that I had completed and then I would found it and I was so excited because it's a really nice stencil. And I obviously wasn't done with St. Patrick's Day either. This right here is some ribbon. I believe I ran it through a sticker maker I owned at the time. I since got rid of the sticker maker because it wasn't really worth it to me, so I actually gave it away in a giveaway I had at one point. But I did run this ribbon through this sticker maker, I believe. My dream would be slimmer by summer, which definitely did not happen. I've liked mushroom aesthetic for so long now. This is, what, five years ago at this point? It's so pretty. I love that I used my um, metallic watercolor to paint the mushroom cap. Ooh, I don't remember making that. What a pretty page that is on the left. Here I ran some more of the ribbon through my sticker maker. And apparently I'm still feeling St. Patrick's Day. And you know what? It's my husband's and my anniversary on St. Patrick's Day. So it's really fun to celebrate it a little extra harder than some people would. I love this sticker of Homer Simpson. He was rocking out pretty hard right there. And this page looks pretty with all of the metallic gold I used. I love this page. Back to the more colorful pages. This one's also bright and beautiful. Here on the left hand side I used a journal prompt sticker and answered the question. And on the right is just some roses cutouts from a magazine. All this is magazine cutouts as well except for the Be Wonderful on the right hand page. That is washi tape that I owned at the time. Well how fun is this? I've got the words rainbow rainbow with some rainbow tie dye I colored on the right. I don't remember coloring that. It's only five years ago. It's only five years ago, but I colored that and I don't remember doing that. Here on the right hand page is just a random collage. This is the end of March 2019. This page just has some random food stickers. And here on the right is a nebula I cut out and a cat head from the um, sticker book I keep referring to. And I wrote down cats in space. Uh, I don't remember what these words said before I cut them up and rearranged them and took out words, but it now says, here's to the dealers doing it right. If you know, you know. Here's another really springy page with some flowers and a bird walking with his little boots and his umbrella. 
And of course this cloud with a rainbow behind him. Isn't that adorable? God, I love spring so much. Um, here is some random food stickers once again. And here on the right, I'm writing about en en enagrams, I think they're called. I really need to redo the test to find out my current anagram personality type. Uh, here is an advertisement I cut out of a magazine for Earth Hour in March 2019. This page reminds me of my notes in high school in the 90s. <laughs> it's so fun. The colors are young Erica for sure. Got some spring flowers and a cup of coffee. And also, I'm reading this, you guys can't see it because I've blurred it out, but on the right hand page I'm talking about the first time my husband and I ate at our now favorite restaurant called Sushi Club. And we actually went there a couple weeks ago for an early celebration of our anniversary because we had our tax checks so we just felt like going ahead and celebrating. So we went to Sushi Club just recently and looks like we discovered it about five years ago. <laughs> How fun, that's a great memory to hold here in my journal. Abundance is not something we acquire, it is something we tune into. So it looks like at the time of this journal, my Enneagram, Enneagram? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think it's Enneagram. My Enneagram number was nine, but I don't know if that's still current, so I need to redo that test really. On the left hand page is a printout on photo paper of my avatar from Sabeda at the time. It's um, in celebration of an event called Survival and I'm still playing Sabeda and currently on there it is Survival. So um, I have a really uh, lightly dressed avatar again right now in celebration of Survival on the website. I love how creative and colorful I got in this journal. I was not afraid to use it even though it's in such a beautiful cover and the paper is such high quality. I was not afraid to dig right in and just use it like any other journal and I'm really proud of myself for that. When I was younger I had trouble using beautiful journals and now they don't scare me anymore. I believe this image came from National Geographic I would like to say. And this time is a bunch of dog stickers from the sticker book I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm sort of sensing a theme in this journal. Wow, the stickers on this page are so cute. Um, I don't know where I got them from. Holy cow though, they're adorable. We've got a UFO, a Saturn, um, a cow assumingly to be lifted up by said UFO. Oh yes, because we, we've got a UFO lifting up a cow right here. Um, a couple little aliens and over here is a box of tin foil. Isn't that wonderful? I have no idea where I got those stickers, but they are amazing. Uh, that's probably the best set of stickers I've seen in a while. <laughs> here is a page with some more doodles. Makes me want to do some more doodles again soon. Um, I actually remember making this collage, kind of, at least I remember the idea behind it. I had finished making a bunch of ATCs with this um, set of paper that you see in the background. And I took all my scraps and I made a collage out of it and it looks just as pretty as those ATCs looked when they were finished. I know why I like all the pens so much in this journal. On the right hand side I'm writing about using those Sakura Jelly Roll pens and they're amazing and that's why I'm liking all these pages so much. They're so colorful. And the ink in those Jelly Roll pens are just so juicy. Ooh, I like this page. Just uh, some cutouts of mushrooms. There's another cutout from a magazine. Here I'm just taking advantage of the juiciness of those Sakura jelly rolls and I kind of just made like dripping paint, sort of. Here's some more of those springy stickers from my cheap sticker book I had back in the day. I say back in the day, but I believe I actually still have some stickers from this exact sticker book. Here I answered some more prompts from the League of Extraordinary Pen Pals. 
On the left, I glued in a journal card. And on the right, I glued in a postcard. That would be from Erica, I'm sure. On the left are some pictures I printed out with me and my dogs. On the right is something I'm gonna leave colored with these generic post-it notes. For one, it's definitely something you can't see. And for two, I'm afraid if I pull it off of here, it's gonna tear the picture. And I don't want to tear the picture behind it today. I'm gonna to leave it in case I ever have to look at what's behind there. For now, I don't have to, so I'm gonna leave it and not risk tearing that. Oh, and also, I made this a pocket. And I can't show you what's in here because it's another picture of whatever this is. I don't remember. Here is a funny picture of my friend Megan. The reason I printed this out and put it in here is because at the time we were working on a YouTube collaboration together. So I was writing about her a lot in this journal. So I thought it was only right to um, represent her more than just writing her name in here. Um, at the very end of this journal is an entry about um, the giveaway I was just talking about a moment ago, oddly enough. Um, I gave away a ton of journals and a sticker maker and pens and it was so much fun. It was so much fun to have that big giveaway on my channel. On the left is a quote from Teddy Roosevelt. It says, There are no words that can tell the hidden spirit of the wilderness that can reveal its mystery, its melancholy, and its charm. I love that quote. It's beautiful. On the right hand side are my dogs, Woodrow and Hera. Hera is no longer with us, but Woodrow is. He had a little health scare recently, but he's doing good. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this thing out of here just to show you the rest. Uh, just a little scrap collection. It looks like it's all I've got going on over here. Looks like I had something personal written there and I put a couple pieces of tape over it to cover it up before recording. Of course, here is the cover. I'm gonna go ahead and slip it back in here. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me through the flip through of this Suvi journal. The journal on the inside is called Gravity, but I kind of just refer to it in my as my soothy journal since I have it in this cover. Maybe someday I will get a new notebook to put in there and use it again, but for now, that's not something I'm looking forward to happening in the near future. Thank you so much for anyone who made it this whole way with me. I really appreciate it. It's been fun. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye.